know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. You can't be such a good person that you don't engage in spiritual warfare. Because many battles, we see them in the natural, but they are actually emanating from the spirit realm. Amen. So we need to pray that God would help us and God would defend us. So I just want you to look at the scripture and then we're going to pray. Amen. Before major breakthroughs, the enemy will always threaten. Because the enemy is against your major breakthrough. I know Isaiah 41. Hallelujah. One of the tools the enemy uses is fear. And when you fear, you have fallen into the trap of the enemy. Hallelujah. The two most common words put together in the Bible are fear not. Don't allow the enemy to put you in such a corner that you fear. Whenever the enemy is threatening you, remember how big your God is. Despite the threatenings of the enemy, you will still break through before this year is over in a magnificent way in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 41 verse number 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Somebody say divine encounter. On a divine encounter, God always tells you, fear not. We explained that yesterday. He always tells you not to fear. Somebody say, I will not fear. He says, fear not for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. On a divine encounter, God will always strengthen you. So one of the main purposes of a divine encounter is the strengthening of the Lord. God strengthens you. May he strengthen you in every area of weakness in your life in the name of Jesus. Wherever you feel you've been weakened, wherever you feel the enemy is attacking, may God strengthen you in that area in the name of Jesus. May God not allow the enemy to outwit you in the name of Jesus. May he give you divine strategies in the name of Jesus. May he give you divine strength in the name of Jesus. May the enemy find you stronger today than you were yesterday in the name of Jesus. The enemy did not count on the Lord strengthening you, but receive the strengthening of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I prophesy the strengthening of the Lord upon your life in the name of Jesus. I decree your God will strengthen you. The hand of the Lord is upon you in the name of Jesus. Be empowered and be strengthened by Jehovah God in the name of Jesus. May your God send you help from the sanctuary in the name of Jesus. At your time of need, may your God send you help. I prophesy divine assistance for you in the name of Jesus. May God send you divine help in the name of Jesus. May he send you spiritual help in the name of Jesus. May he send you men in the name of Jesus. He said, I will give men for your life. Whoever you need for your destiny to move forward, may God send them in your direction in the name of Jesus. People who can stand on your behalf in the name of Jesus. People who can speak where you cannot speak in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are stuck, may God send you help in the name of Jesus. For he said, I will help you. He said, I will help you. He said, yes, I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. May your God help you in your day of trouble in the name of Jesus. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from them all. May the Lord deliver you from trouble in the name of Jesus. I prophesy divine assistance in the day of trouble. Whatever the enemy is cooking up, I decree it shall come to naught. Gather together and be broken in pieces in the name of Jesus. Speak your counsel and it shall not stand. For the Lord God is with us. May your God prove to you that he might look like he's late but he's always on time. May the 
the God who's always on time stand with you and stand for you in the name of Jesus. May he hold your hand in the name of Jesus. May he uphold your right hand in the name of Jesus. Any commitments that you cannot meet, may your God help you to meet them in the name of Jesus. You will not fa fail by the wayside. You will not fall by the wayside. I declare and I decree every attempt of the devil to embarrass you, it will not work in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy is planning to bring down your name will not work in the name of Jesus. Every satanic strategy must not work in the name of Jesus. Every satanic plan of embarrassment against your family, against your church, against your business, I decree it will not work. I declare and I decree by the hand of Jehovah, may you be strengthened and may you be assisted. God sent divine assistance our way in the name of Jesus. Do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. Speak for us where we cannot speak for ourselves. For you are our God. The Bible says, Behold, all those who were incensed against you shall be put to shame and disgraced. They are incensed against you. In other words, they hate you to the point of wanting you to die. I declare and I decree every sworn enemy of your life. In the name of Jesus, may God put them to shame in the name of Jesus. Witches shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. People prophesying negativity in your life shall be put to shame. People devising wickedness against you, they shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. The enemy's plan that you will end this year with the failure will not work. You will end this year well in the name of Jesus. He says in verse 13, For I, the Lord your God, will uphold your right hand. Uh, he says to you, Fear not, I will help you. In verse 14, he says, Fear not, I will help you again. Uh, in the same chapter, the Lord says he will help you three times. Uh, may God help you three times a day. May he not just help you once, Mando, Bako, Tamazo, Tamahaya, but may he help you many times in a day in the name of Jesus. Uh, may the world see that you are the apple of God's eye. Uh, may God show them that you are a touch not entity for he says touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm you are the anointed of the Lord all those who are assigned by the enemy to touch you may God deal with them and show them it's because of you may your God arise and may every enemy of your destiny be scattered your God will arise and scatter the enemy for your sake David said oh Lord the enemies they are stronger than I he was crying out for God's help I wish somebody would cry out uh, for the divine assistance of Jehovah. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses. Uh, but my father, we trust in your name. Uh, for the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Uh, they that run to it, they are safe. Uh, we run to you, O oh God, we come to you. Uh, like David said, when my heart is overwhelmed, uh, lead me to a rock that is higher than I. Uh, that rock is Christ Jesus. We come to you, Jesus. Uh, son of David, have mercy on us. Uh, Every enemy strategizing against us uh, that would end the year in failure and some in death. Uh, every such strategy, oh Lord, must be brought to naught. Uh, every satanic gathering against you, uh, every gathering of hate and against you must come to naught. Uh, the plans of the enemy for a funeral in your home before the year is over, uh, you are canceling those plans in the name of Jesus. Uh, no one shall die in your house. No weapon formed or fashioned against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned we condemn every tongue rising against you in judgment we condemn every tongue of accusation against your life everyone planning a hangman's noose for you they shall be arrested for your sake in the name of Jesus they are the ones that noose is for them they shall be hung in your place the same gallows that they prepared for you are the same colors with which they shall be hanged in the name of Jesus. Every satanic accusation against your life it will not work in the name of Jesus. Your God will help you against your haters. People who hate you just because they hate you they don't even have a reason but they just despise you. 
they hate your very existence <laughs> the other day the enemy said why is David still alive every enemy that says why are you still alive may your God step in and help you in the name of Jesus whoever sits down to discuss you in a negative way may God rise up and beat your enemies for you according to Psalm 89 verse 20 to 23 he says I will beat those that hate David may God beat your haters in the name of Jesus those who hate your destiny those who hate God's favor upon your life may God deal with them do not continue to look oh Lord while the enemies fight us we are your children we are pushing the God agenda here why don't you arise from your throne oh God and deal with every enemy working against us some are working against us in private sectors some are working against us in private rooms some are strategizing negative things against us satanic conspiracies projections every satanic projection against your life it must come to naught every satanic strategy against your life it will not work scatter the strategies of the enemy scatter the devices of the enemy oh father god frustrate the devices of the wicked against your children against every church member against the church frustrate every device every satanic device it must be frustrated it must be frustrated for our sake we release angels to frustrate the devices of the wicked every strategy of the devil must be frustrated in the name of Jesus rise up oh father God rise up in your power and in your glory to defend your church oh Jehovah God defend your children defend the integrity of your children do not allow the enemy to have his way for if he has his way oh God will be dead and buried we need the strong hand of Jehovah upon our lives the enemy is attacking your breakthrough the other day David says the lion and the bear they attack the sheep the sheep was proof that David had a testimony there is a testimony of yours under attack by the enemy open your mouth and release the God of heaven against every enemy working against your breakthrough every enemy that is fighting the lamb and proof that David had been working hard in the backside of the desert proof of productivity was being attacked and the Bible says he rose up against the lion and the bear today we go up we come up against every lion roaring against your destiny every lion roaring against your breakthrough may the Lord step in and destroy it in the name of Jesus by fire by force may God raise big massive angels to destroy the enemy and their plans it will not work it will not work it will not work you who neither sleeps nor slumbers step in on our behalf in the name of Jesus arise my father my God show your strength show your power show the enemy that you are still the boss show the enemy who you are my father my God we come to you we come to you we look to the hills from where our help comes our help comes from Jehovah the maker of the heavens and the earth who are you on mountain before Zerubbabel you shall be made plain level every mountain Jehovah exalt every valley make every crooked place straight every enemy attacking your breakthrough we attack that enemy we attack that enemy spiritually give them no rest oh father God those who strategize against us give them no rest my father my God for we do not seek you in vain you are the God who avenges for us avenge me my adversary oh God you said vengeance is mine the other day we cannot revenge oh God but we can come to you the God who avenges all things Bible says there's no rest for the wicked let them know have no rest according to your word my father my God there are those who we have been good to they have turned around and have attacked us my father my God repay them according to their deeds repay them according to their deeds deal with them oh God whoever is initiating witchcraft against your family God will arise and scatter that enemy in the name of Jesus we open fire on the enemy in the name name of Jesus our God is a consuming fire our God is a consuming fire consuming fire rain down on the enemies rain down on the enemies of our destiny rain down on the enemies of our lives rain down
down on the enemies of our progress rain down on the enemies of our breakthrough we send the fire of the holy ghost for a great door has opened unto us but we have many enemies and i thank you my god that there are more that are with us than they that are with them for every enemy in our lives send oh god a thousand angels to deal with the one enemy decisively for angels they work for us may the angels of the lord rise up and deal with every enemy in the name of jesus every enemy attacking your marriage must be destroyed in the name of jesus every enemy attacking your children must be destroyed in the name of jesus every enemy attacking your church must be destroyed in the name of jesus every enemy attacking your career must be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every enemy attacking your business must be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let sudden destruction come upon them. Hey, come as to Lamahaya. Let their path be dark and slippery. According to Psalm 35. Behold their threatenings, oh my father, my God. Rise up in your thunder in the name of Jesus. Hear us speedily, oh Lord, for we are in trouble with the enemy. Hear us speedily, oh God. You can't answer this one next week or next week but one we need you to step in today 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 according to psalm 69 verse number 17 hear me speedily oh my father my god do a quick work with the enemy do a quick work with the enemy Show them, oh my father, my God. According to Psalm 62, show them that you are my strength and you are my rock and you are my refuge. According to Psalm 62, verse 7, show them, oh God. According to Psalm 62, verse number 11, that power belongs to God. Show them how powerful you are. Show them how influential you are. Father, you said in your word, in Psalm 56, verse number 9, when I cried out unto God, my enemies turned back. Today we cry out unto you. Cause the enemies to turn back. Send great fear against our enemies. In the name of Jesus. Father, we speak Psalm 7, verse number 9. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Every wickedness of the enemy, it must must come to an end. There must be an end to wickedness. There must be an end to every wickedness against your life. In the name of Jesus. They are planning an accident against you. They are planning calamity against you. The wickedness of the wicked must come to an end. Father, we thank you that when we pray, you hear us always. Hear us today, oh God. Strengthen us against the enemy. For by my God, I can run through a troop. Give us the strength of Jehovah to run through a troop of enemies. It doesn't matter how many gang up against us. A thousand will fall at our side and ten thousand in our right hand. But he do not come near us. According to Psalm 57 verse number 2. I cry out to God most high. To God who performs all things for me. Perform all things for me in the midst of my enemies. According to Psalm 55 verse number 15. Let death seize them oh God. Was that desire our destruction? Let death seize them. Let death seize them. Let them go down to the pit of hell alive. For wickedness is in great dwelling. Father, I thank you for your word. In the book of Psalm 55, verse number 9, the Bible says, Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues. Cause confusion in the enemy's camp. Save us, O Lord. Psalm 54, verse 1. Save me, O God. Save me by your name. And vindicate me oh God by your strength hear my prayer oh God verse 2 give ear to the words of my mouth for strangers have risen up against me and the oppressor has sought after my life God will rise up and save you God will rise up and vindicate you some trust in chariots some trust in horses but we trust in you we said you said call on me in the day of your trouble the enemy wants to kill people before December 22 that's a Satanic date, the darkest day in the kingdom.
kingdom of darkness my father my god we plead the blood of jesus upon the whole church in the name of jesus upon every church member every committed church member upon every tithe upon every partner upon every sacrificial giver we plead the blood of jesus do not allow the enemy to laugh for this sake destroy the workers of iniquity oh my father my god you are my god and my refuge psalm 46 we will not fear according to psalm 46 verse number two though the earth be removed though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea there is a river that shall make glad the city of god and river is the holy ghost we are here waiting patiently for you oh god you will pull us out of the pit out of the mighty clay the bible says and in Psalm 37, uh, verse number 12, uh, the wicked plots against the just uh, and gnashes his teeth, uh, but the Lord laughs at him. Uh, we release a divine laugh against the enemy, uh, against the enemy with his strategies and his plans. Uh, let those plans come to naught. Uh, I'm going to Psalm 34, uh, verse number 17. Uh, the righteous cry out, uh, and the Lord hears uh, and delivers him out of all their troubles. Uh, anything that constitutes trouble in your life, uh, trouble in your life, uh, trouble in your your marriage uh, trouble in your business uh, trouble in your career uh, may your god step in uh, against all those strategizing trouble there are those devising health troubles for you uh, there are those who want you to stroke uh, may god trouble the troublers uh, those who are cooking trouble for you uh, may your god rise up against them uh, in the name of jesus may the lord rise up for you in your day of trouble uh, in the name of jesus uh, any attacks in the night against your life uh, attacks on your health uh, night feeding planned by the enemy uh, stealing your glory uh, whatever satanic plans uh, may god trouble your troublers in the name of jesus uh, i release the power of god upon your life uh, in the name of jesus uh, i command your god to arise and scatter the enemy i command your god to arise in the name of jesus uh, and deal with every enemy uh, working against you in the name of jesus uh, in the 11th hour in this year uh, as the enemy is planning to bring you down uh, i I declare and I decree that plan will not work. That strategy will not work. Spiritists are signed against you. Higher to frustrate you. I command them to be frustrated for your sake. Whatever the enemy is cooking against your life, I declare and I decree it will not work. We cry out to you, oh God. We cry out against the enemy. We cry out against the enemy. Working against our lives. We cry out. And the Bible says when we cried out against the enemy the enemies they turn back every enemy working against you must turn back in the name of jesus send angels oh god against every enemy in the name of jesus send angels my father against every enemy working against us in the name of jesus send massive angels big angels oh my father my god warring angels michael and his angels do not spare the wicked oh my father my god as they work against your children do not spare them oh my father my god rise up in your anger according to the word as they are touching the apple of your eye rise up oh god do not be silent oh god you are the God who avenges us of our adversaries. Avenge us of the wicked one, my Father, my God. Rise up in your power, in your strength. We speak Psalm 35 against our enemies. Let their path be dark and slippery. Every witch, every wizard. Deal with them decisively, oh my Father, my God. Every satanic conspiracy against our lives. It must come to naught. Gather together, be broken in pieces. Speak your counsel, it shall not stand. For the Lord is with us. If God be for us, us, uh, who can be against us uh, no weapon fashioned against us uh, shall be able to prosper and every tongue that rises against us in judgment uh, we condemn it together oh god rise up in our defense you are our defense my father my god defend your church oh defend your people rise up in your anger my father my god let god arise let the enemy 
be miscattered. Shield us from the arrows of the enemy. Return back to the sender. Every single arrow against our lives. May the enemy rejoice not over us. Raise us in the day of adversity. Every device of the enemy, we command the destruction on that device. In the name of Jesus, let the enemy be ashamed for our sake. We silence every enemy by the power of the Holy Ghost. Answer by fire, my Father, my God. You are God who rises up against the enemy. Rise up in your fire and in your glory. In the name of Jesus, you are a consuming fire, oh my Father, my God. Do not be silent, my Father, my God, while the enemy attacks us, your children. Did you not say that we're the apple of your eye? Rise up in your might. Rise up in your power. Rise up in your thunder. Let death seize the enemy, oh God. Every enemy against your breakthrough, enemies are signed to work against your breakthrough last minute. This is a breakthrough prayer. Every breakthrough that you're waiting for, in the name of Jesus. Every enemy that is waiting at the door of breakthrough, we command those enemies to release the breakthrough. We release the fire of God against the enemy at the door of breakthrough. Every breakthrough that is pending must be released in the name of Jesus. We refuse to allow the enemy to win against us in the day of our breakthrough. We are not coming out of this year empty-handed. Father, my Father, my God, defend our breakthroughs, oh God. Rise up in your anger against every enemy assigned against our year and breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, we command the God of the breakthrough. We command serious financial breakthroughs that will bring glory to your name. Do not allow the enemy to laugh us to score, no, my father, my God. Rise up, oh God. Do not remain seated on your throne while the enemy is sitting on our breakthroughs. This is for the building of the kingdom, for the advancement of the kingdom. We want the name of the Lord to be lifted up. So, my father, my God, rise up, rise up, rise up. Rise up and defend our cause. Rise up and defend our cause, my father, my God. Do not allow us to be a prophet. A prophet and a byword. They said, what is this prophet that we hear in Israel that every vision fails? My father, my God, in the name of Jesus, do not allow us to fail, my father, my God. Cause our vision to come alive. For it is for your glory. We want to build you sanctuaries, oh my father, my God. We want to build hospitals, my father, my God. We want to build malls, children's homes. Do not allow the enemy to sit on our breakthroughs, my father, my God. Rise up, oh God, and avenge us of our adversaries. Avenge us of all this witchcraft working against our breakthroughs. Deal with the principalities that are releasing poverty and hardship in this nation. Causing people to struggle, oh my father, my God. We cry out unto you in desperation. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to a rock. That is higher than I. That rock is Christ Jesus. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. We have nowhere else to go. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in witch doctors. But we trust in you, oh my father, my God. Remove every obstacle. Go before us and make the crooked places straight. Break the bars of iron asunder. Open double doors for us, oh God. Give us the hidden riches, the treasures of darkness. Send us divine helpers to push our papers. Send us divine helpers, my father, my God. We summon divine signatures, oh God. Cause the people who are supposed to push the money button, cause them to sign, oh my father, my God. Let these meetings be divine encounters, oh my father, my God. Do not allow delays, for you said in your word, there shall be no more delays. Is that angel of the Lord in the book of Revelations, chapter number 10? He put one foot on the land and one foot in the sea, and he swore by him who lives forever. And he said, There shall be no more delays. My father, my God, work against every delay, every spirit of delay released by the enemy. Break that spirit, oh my father, my God. Put the 
the breakthroughs in our hands in the name of Jesus. Uh, give us divine speed, oh my Father, my God. Uh, give us divine breakthroughs, my Father, my God. Uh, step in on our behalf. Uh, pindirai, Baba, pindirai. Uh, come on, it's a prayer for divine intervention. Uh, pindirai, Baba, pindirai. Pindirai, 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 Jehovah. Uh, step in on our behalf, my Father, my God. Uh, when the Lord deals with your enemy, it's a breakthrough. Uh, when the Lord gives you your financial breakthrough, it's a breakthrough. Uh, open your mouth and pray. Uh, you need this defense. Uh, and you need this blessing. Raise your hands to heaven now. I command the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Round about your life, round about your life. There is a wall of fire that is coming round about you. A wall of fire, a wall of fire. A wall of fire round about you, my Father, my God. Put that wall of fire. Whatever the enemy throws at us, let it be bent by the fire of the Holy Ghost round about us. Jehovah God, put a shield round about us put your fire round about us round about us finally there must be fire round about you protection round about you every plan and strategy of the enemy against you must not work for god is putting a hedge of fire round about you round about you round about you fire round about you fire on every side round about you we are praying for divine reinforcements jehovah must send reinforcing angels reinforcing angels big angels strong enemies they must be dealt with by strong angels we don't need no ministering angels here we need warring angels right now the kind of angels that dealt with the Assyrian army one angel killed 185,000 of the Assyrian army those are the kind of angels we summon into our lives to work against the enemies of our destiny and finally the Bible says command victories for Jacob oh God if you need victory today, stand up on your feet and raise your hands. We command supernatural victories for you on every side. Everything you do, you must win. You must triumph over your enemies. You must be ten times better than your enemies. Ten times better in strategy. Ten times better in strength. And you must lift up your hands at the end of the day as the victor. God is commanding victories for you. You are in a place of commanded victories. You have to win. You are winners. You must win. You must win. You must win. Every meeting that you go into, you must win. You must win. Command victories, oh God, for Jacob. You put your name there. As he says in Zechariah 8, 23, they will hold on to the skirt of a Jewish man and say, we shall go with you for we have seen that God is with you. Put that kind of testimony in my mouth, my father, my God, that they will say we will go with you for we have seen that God is with you. Today as your men of God, lift up your hands. I prophesy over your life. Any enemy of yours working against you spiritually or physically, I prophesy, this is a prophecy, God will beat and punish them before the end of this year. You will hear, I'm telling you, God will punish your enemies. I speak that word in the realm of the spirit. Every enemy, every sworn enemy of your life that is working over time against you, God must beat them. Psalm 89 verse 20 to 23. He says, I will beat them that hate David. Just for hating you, God will beat them because you are his child. You are the apple of his eye. God must punish the devil and his congregants. He must punish them. That satanic garden, whoever is involved in opening their mouth against you for whatever reason, in the name of Jesus, may your father, your God, may he punish them according to his word. If God didn't want us to pray, he would not have put it in the Bible. God will punish everyone working against your joy, working against your peace, working against your payment, working against your resources, working against your children, working against your family. And I prophesy, raise your hands, I prophesy, anyone who consults an altar against you, let the fire of the Holy Ghost Come and destroy that person, that individual, that spirit, that occultist, the fire of God. For, because it's fire for fire. 
every strange fire assigned against you we command the water of the holy ghost to 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 quench that strange fire in the name of jesus and every lion roaring against you May the angels of the Lord shut the mouth of the lion. And even if you get into the fire, I decree that Jesus, the fourth man, will show up in the fire. May he show up in the day of fire, the day of trouble. May he show up. May you not be left alone. May you never be stranded in the name of Jesus. For you are the children of the Most High God. And every satanic accusation against you, I declare and I decree that that sin is forgiven and the devil cannot use it against you because the Lord gave the apostles the power and he says, whoever sins you say are remitted, they are remitted. Whoever sins you say they are retained, they are retained. I decree your sins are forgiven in the name of Jesus. Whatever they used to accuse you, it's under the blood. In the name of Jesus, go in this. with us and the flower fades but your word is eternal breaking the chains unlocking your destiny